The guys that appear in this anime are delinquents. Please do not under any circumstances imitate anything they do. Don't do it, man. I'm serious. No bad idea. Tax return. God damn it! I hate you, Bhutan! How stupid. What's even worse is that someone gets paid to make a stupid show like that. It's a crime. And to add insult to injury, worthless shows like this one always seem to get the highest ratings. But let me say one thing. Even if the numbers are good, it's trash unless I approve. And this show is trash. I'm telling you, dude, this show kicks ass. There she go, go, There's go, go. nothing worth watching on TV nowadays. Thing, yeah. I guess that means TV. the only option is for me to become a comedian and correct this situation. I wouldn't mind being a solo act, but I don't know if the public would understand my sophisticated comedy. If only I had a powerful partner who could handle my sense of humor. And I know just the guy. You know, I think Takanuchi's fat ass has been losing some weight. Well, if he keeps throwing up like that. By the way, something's been bothering me lately. I've been having this creepy feeling like we're being followed everywhere we go. Nah, dude, I think you're just imagining things. Now, the question is what to do from here. How do I approach it? If I just walk up and say, Hey, you want to form a comedy duo? Huh? That would just cause Honey Boy to shy away. I could just tell him that I am the postcard artist in the Jishi Otaro. But he's higher ranked than I am in late night radio shows. So there's a chance he'll take the lead when we form a duo later. It's not a good idea to let him know who I am right now. It used to be that agencies would assign the partners without asking when a duo was formed. But these days there are many partners that were classmates from middle school or high school, or they were in the same theatrical company. But we aren't even classmates, and we don't even go to the same school. Not only that, but our schools have an extremely hostile relationship. Hey, wait a second. It's dramatic when two people with no connection meet up. The story of our potential partnership is going to be the stuff of legend. So you two met by accident in a coffee house? Yeah, sort of. What an amazing coincidence. <sighs> Why am I imagining stupid stuff like that? It's pretty shameful to imagine being popular when I haven't even debuted yet. What do you want to do? Make people laugh? become some kind of a snobby intellectual. At the moment, all I want to do is form a duo with Honey Boy. I just need to express that feeling to him honestly. All right, here I go. Yeah, I think Puton is hilarious. Me too. I even went out and bought the action figure, man. Puton! Puton! I've got something really important to tell you. What's up, dude? Well, I was walking around downtown a little while ago, and this man I've never seen before, he says, Hey! Long time no see! Or something like that, I don't know. Right, and then? Well, he patted me on the shoulder, and he said we should really go out for a drink sometime. And then he walked away. So, what did you say to him, Pooh? Well, I didn't know what to do, so I said, Yeah, that sounds great! Because I didn't want to be rude in case I actually did know the guy. You know what I'm saying? 
But now, I think he must have been confusing me with someone else. What do you think, Bhutan? What does that have to do with Bhutan? Man, you really are a son of a bitch, you know that? The show will continue in a minute. It never ends, Pooh. So I gave this show a second look, and I think... It's not funny at all! But just saying it's stupid is something that an amateur would do. As someone who aspires to be a professional...